Hey, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Rebecca and today we're going to do a complete yoga practice. It is going to be a balanced practice for all levels, which means we're gonna have a little bit of fun. And I will offer you options from start to intermediate to more advanced. All right, so go get your stuff, a mat, a strap, and a block or two if you have them. If not, just a mat will work and you can make do with some other stuff around the house. All right, let's get started. All right, so let's start at the top of your mat. I like using a mat that's got lines on it so that you know your alignment in the practice. Uh, that's me though, I'm a little bit of a type A. All right, coming to the top of your mat. I like to stand with my feet about hip distance apart for mountain pose. Lift up your toes, spread your feet wide, and then let your toes rest back down on the mat. Grip the mat like you've got suction cups on the bottom of your feet. Okay, squeeze your legs towards each other. Contract the pelvic floor, draw the lower belly in, lower ribs in. Spine is nice and tall, shoulders are gently pulled back and relaxed, hands are down next to the hips, or sorry, down next to the thighs. Okay, on an inhale, reach your arms up overhead, look over your thumbs, long stretch. Exhale, forward fold, bring your hands down just below your knees. So we're just coming halfway. Take a long breath in, push the sitting bones back, and as you exhale, slide the hands down a little bit further. Inhale through the nose, spine gets longer. Exhale through the nose, fold a little bit deeper. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, forward fold a little bit deeper. Last one, inhale, lengthen. And exhale, forward fold. Okay, bring your hands to the floor. We'll step back into plank pose. Okay, we're gonna rock from side to side here to stretch out the wrists. You may come down to the knees for this. Stay in plank if you want more of an abdominal challenge. And then when you're ready, flip the toes under, feet are about hip distance apart, and push back to downward facing dog. So the knees can be bent here, that's okay. Push the sitting bones back and up. Push through the armpits, spread your fingers wide. And draw the lower belly in on the exhale. Let your head go. One more breath here. And walk your feet to the front of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. The knees can bend in your forward fold, that's okay. Inhale, reach all the way up. And exhale, hands in prayer. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step back into plank pose and lower down to the belly. Point your toes back, press your hands into the mat. Lift with the upper back, coming into cobra as you inhale. And then as you exhale, push back through hands and knees, hips up towards where the ceiling meets the wall, downward facing dog. Three breaths here, breathe in. Breathe out one. Breathe in. 
Breathe out two. Breathe in. Breathe out three. Look forward. Step or walk your feet to the front. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise all the way up, long stretch. Look over the thumbs, exhale, hands in prayer at heart center. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, forward fold. When you hinge at the hips, draw the lower belly in and use that to fold deeper so that the belly rests near the thighs. Inhale, halfway lift. Again, legs are strong, low belly is drawn in, low back is flat, shoulder blades plugged in. Exhale, step, or this time you can jump back into high push-up. And lower down to the belly or knees, chest, and chin. So knees, chest, and chin goes just like that. Knees first, chest, and then chin to the mat. Butts in the air still. Slide through if that's what you did. Inhale, lift to cobra. And exhale, push back, downward facing dog. Three breaths, breathe in. Breathe out one. Breathe in. Breathe out two. Breathe in. Breathe out three. Okay, we're gonna step to the front, coming into a low squat. So bring your hands together so the thumbs touch. You can either step your feet or jump to the front. Lower the hips. You may use a block underneath the sitting bones if you like. Use your elbows to push the knees apart, palms together. Pull the shoulders back. Looking forward, breathe in. Breathe out one. Breathe in. Breathe out two. Breathe in. Breathe out three. Okay, get rid of the block. And toe heel your feet back together. Inhale, lift up, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise all the way up. Exhale, hands together in prayer at heart center. Coming into chair pose. Bend your knees, lower your seat. Sit back on the heels, inhale. Arms can either reach straight in front of you if that's more comfortable, or they can reach up overhead. On an exhale, straighten the legs, come into forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Engage that low belly, plug the shoulder blades in. Exhale, step or jump back. And we'll lower down. You can do to the belly or knees, chest and chin. Or if you'd like to do chaturanga, you can do chaturanga. For chaturanga, slide forward on the toes. Bend the elbows to 90 degrees. When you're ready, inhale, come into cobra if you're on the belly or come into up dog if you did chaturanga. And exhale, push back, downward facing dog. Step the right foot to the front, left heel pivots down, torso and arms lift up. And exhale, hands to the floor, step back, lower down your choice, belly, knees, chest and chin, or chaturanga. Inhale, cobra or up dog. I'm doing cobra. And exhale back, downward facing dog. Left side steps to the front for warrior one. Right heel pivots down, lift the torso and arms up. And exhale, hands step back to the floor. Sorry, left foot steps back, hands down. Lower down your choice. Inhale, cobra or up dog. 
and exhale back, downward facing dog. Three breaths, breathe in, breathe out one, breathe in, breathe out two, breathe in, breathe out three. Look to the front, step or hop your feet to the front. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Coming into chair pose, bend your knees, lower your seat. Inhale, arms and chest lift. And exhale, stand tall, hands together in prayer. Inhale, back to chair pose. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step or float back. Lower down, your choice. Inhale, cobra or up dog. I'm doing up dog this time. And exhale back, downward facing dog. Okay, we're gonna add on to what we just did. Warrior pose one, right foot forward, left heel pivots down, arms lift up. And exhale to warrior two, hips open to the left side. Right knees bent, gaze over the right fingertips. Right arms to the front, left arm is back. Inhale to reverse warrior. Right arm reaches to the ceiling, left hand goes down the back of the left thigh. Exhale, extended side angle, we'll bring the right elbow to the knee and the left arm reaches up towards the front of your mat. Inhale, both hands to the floor. Step back. This is your choice. You can either lower down to the belly, knees, chest, and chin, or chaturanga, or you can just push back to downward facing dog. That's where we'll end up anyway. So you can always ramp your practice up or down however you want. Step the left foot to the front. Coming into warrior one on the left. Inhale, arms and torso lift. And exhale to warrior two. Hips open to the right side. Left arm forward, right arm back. Inhale, reverse warrior. And exhale, extended side angle. Left elbow over the left knee. Right arm reaches up towards the front of the mat. Inhale, both hands to the floor. Your choice, either vinyasa, which means you can lower down to the belly, knees, chest, and chin, or chaturanga, or you can just push back to down dog. If you lower down, continue to move through. Inhale to cobra or up dog. I'm doing cobra. And exhale back, downward facing dog. Three breaths, breathe in. Breathe out one. Breathe in. Breathe out two. Breathe in. Breathe out three. Look forward, inhale, step or hop your feet to the front. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Coming into chair pose, bend your knees, lower your seat. Inhale, torso and arms reach up. And exhale, stand tall, legs straighten, hands in prayer at heart center. We'll do that one more time. Bend your knees, lower your seat. Inhale, arms lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step or float back. Lower down, your choice. Inhale, cobra or up dog. And exhale back, downward facing dog. Right to the front for warrior one as you inhale, lift up. Exhale, open to the left, warrior two. Right arm forward, left arm back. Inhale, right arm to the ceiling for reverse warrior. 
Exhale, right elbow over the right knee, left arm to the front for extended side angle. Inhale, both hands to the floor. Your choice, vinyasa, or you can just step back to down dog. On the other side, step the left foot to the front. Torso and arms lift up for warrior one. Exhale for warrior two. Hips open to the right, left arm to the front, right arm to the back. Inhale, left arm to the ceiling for reverse warrior. Exhale, left arm over the right, the left knee, sorry. Right arm reaches up to the front of the mat. Extended side angle. Inhale, both hands to the floor. Step back, your choice. Vinyasa or downward facing dog. Three breaths in down dog. Breathe in. Breathe out one. Breathe in. Breathe out two. Breathe in. Breathe out three. Okay, we're gonna come back to a low squat in the front. So bring your hands together so the thumbs touch. Step or hop your feet to the front. Come into a low squat. You can use a block under your sitting bones if you like. We're gonna take a twist here in the, in the squat. So you can bring level one, bring the right hand down to the floor, left hand up to the left knee for the twist. Level two, you can bind the pose, wrap the right arm around the front of the shin, and then clasp the left hand behind your back. Three more breaths here, breathe in, breathe out three, Breathe in, breathe out four. Breathe in, breathe out five. Switch sides. Level one, left hand comes down to the floor at nine o'clock. Right hand comes up to the right knee. Take a twist. Breathe in. Level two, combine the pose, breathe out one. Breathe in, breathe out two. Breathe in, breathe out three. Breathe in, breathe out four. Breathe in, breathe out five. Okay, release the pose, move the block if you've got the block, and we'll come into crow pose, little arm balance or prep for it. Okay, so hands are shoulder width apart, spread your fingers wide, knees go on the backs of the upper arms or elbows, wherever they fit. Okay, level one, just kind of lean in, make a little shelf with your arms and practice lifting up one foot at a time. Okay, level two, lift both toes up and come into the pose. Okay, and we'll step back to downward facing dog. Make sure your fingers are spread wide. Index fingers are pointed straight ahead. Pressing down through all of the knuckles in your hand, fingers. And draw the lower belly in on the exhale. Good, we'll step the right foot to the front. Okay, lift the torso and the arms up. Keep the left heel pointed up. On an exhale, we'll take a twist 
Okay, level one, bring the left hand down to the floor, right hand up to the right knee, or you can use a block underneath the left hand. Okay, you can stay here or reach the right hand up to the ceiling. Level two, hands come to prayer, palms pressed together, deepen the twist. Option to bring the knee down if you prefer. Okay, breathe in. Breathe out two. Breathe in. Breathe out three. Breathe in. Breathe out four. Breathe in. Breathe out five. Okay, come back to center. Moving into pyramid pose. Okay, so take the left foot and scoot it a little bit forward. Grab your blocks if you if you prefer to use blocks. Level one, stay on the blocks. So we'll bring the hands to the hips. We'll lift up, square up the hips and make sure your feet are in line with your hips. So they'll be a little bit apart from each other. On an exhale, forward fold. You can bring the hands down to the blocks or your shin or the floor. Okay, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold a little bit deeper into the pose. Breathe in. Breathe out one. Breathe in. Breathe out two. Breathe in. Breathe out three. Breathe in. Breathe out four. Breathe in. Breathe out five. Good, bend your right knee and bring both hands to the inside of the right foot and scoot the left foot back about a foot or so. Coming into lizard pose, you can stay here up on your hands or if it's comfortable, you can come down to your elbows. You can even put your blocks underneath your elbows. Breathe in. Breathe out one, so the left heel is pushing back and the right knee is pushing forward. Breathe in. Breathe out two. Breathe in. Breathe out three. Okay, come off the blocks. And we'll step back into plank pose and lower down your choice. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Two breaths, breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. And breathe out. Step your left foot to the front. Okay, remember to keep the feet in line with the hips. Level one, right hand stays on the floor, left hand on the left knee, take a twist. Option to use a block underneath the right hand, if that helps. Option to reach your left arm to the ceiling. Level two, come up with the torso, bring the hands to prayer, right elbow over the left knee, take a twist. Option to bring the right knee down. Breathe in. Breathe out two. Breathe in. Breathe out three. Breathe in. Breathe out four. Twist a little deeper with each exhale. Breathe in. Breathe out five. Good, come back to center. Grab your blocks. 
Coming into pyramid pose, scoot the right foot forward just a bit, square up your hips. Hands to the hips, inhale, come upright. Make sure everything is squared up. Okay, lift up the toes on your left foot. Spread them apart, place them back down on the mat. Inhale, lengthen, lift up. Exhale, hinge at your hips, forward fold. Grab onto the blocks. You can walk your hands forward as far as they'll go. Keeping the low back flat. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, forward fold. Breathe in. Breathe out one. Breathe in. Breathe out two. Breathe in. Breathe out three. Breathe in. Breathe out four. Breathe in. Breathe out five. Okay, bend your left knee. Scoot the right foot back a little bit. Bring both hands down just inside your left foot. You can stay here. We're in lizard pose now, or you can use your blocks. Come down to your elbows, or you can just bring your elbows down to the mat. Pushing the left knee forward, right heel back. Breathe in. Breathe out two. Breathe in. Breathe out three. Breathe in. Breathe out four. Breathe in. Breathe out five. All right, get rid of the blocks. Okay, step back, either vinyasa or downward facing dog, your choice. All right, in down dog, separate your feet a little bit wider so they're about as wide as your hands. Bring your hands in a little bit closer and then bring the right hand to the outside of the left knee or calf or ankle. Taking a little twist to the left. Two breaths, breathe in. Breathe out one. Breathe in. Breathe out two. Switch sides. Left hand to the right knee, calf, or ankle. Take a twist, two breaths. Breathe in. Breathe out one. Breathe in. Breathe out two. Good, left hand down. Look forward, step or hop your feet to the front. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, hands in prayer at heart center. All right, grab onto the right ankle and see if you can place the right foot inside of the left thigh. If that doesn't work, you can rest it on the knee or your calf or even your ankle, and then put your toes on the floor. Okay, so bring the hands together in prayer. We'll stay here for tree pose. Three breaths, breathe in. Breathe out one. Breathe in. 
Breathe out two. Breathe in. Breathe out three. Take the right foot, place it on top of the left knee, bend your left knee, and we'll lower down into half chair. Okay, breathe in. Breathe out one. Breathe in. Breathe out two. Breathe in. Breathe out three. Okay, inhale, come up. Release the right foot down. Come back into chair pose. We're gonna scoot the feet closer together if they were apart and bring the right elbow over the left knee for a twist. Try to keep the hips parallel. Breathe in. Breathe out one. Breathe in. Breathe out two. You can open the arms wide if the right hand reaches to the floor, left arm to the ceiling, if possible. Breathe in. Breathe out four. Breathe in. Breathe out five. Okay, we'll lower down to a low squat. And keeping the right elbow over the left knee, we'll come into side crow. So the hands are shoulder width apart. So level one, you can rest your left hip on the left elbow and the left knee on the right elbow. Okay, and we'll lean over to the left and you can just stay here for practice. Okay, level two. You can work on taking the feet off the floor. And level three, the right elbow comes to the center, well, closer towards the center of the left thigh. And both legs rest on the right elbow. Okay, when you're ready, come back to center. Okay, looking forward, we'll straighten the legs, lift the hips, come up to a halfway lift as you inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale all the way up. And exhale, hands in prayer. And we'll bring the left foot into tree pose. Okay, same thing you did on the other side. Either the foot goes up on the inside of the right thigh, the knee, or the calf, or toes rest on the floor. Hands in prayer, three breaths. Breathe in. Breathe out one. Breathe in. Breathe out two. Breathe in. Breathe out three. Okay, left ankle over the right knee, coming down to half chair. Breathe in. Breathe out one. Breathe in. Breathe out two. Breathe in. Breathe out three. Inhale, come up. Left foot comes down. And then both legs will come into chair. And we'll take a twist to the right. Breathe in. Breathe out one. So I should have told this to you on the last twist, but if you can't get your elbow down over the knee, you can just use your hand to the outside of that right knee and the right hand goes to the right hip. So that would be level one. Also level one is elbow over the knee. And then level two, if you want to reach the hand down to the floor, right hand up to the ceiling. Breathe in. Breathe out four. 
Breathe in. Breathe out five. Okay, then we'll come down to that squat and we'll do a side crow on the right side. Okay. So whichever level you're at, give it a go. Remember level one, you rest the hip on the elbow as well as the knee and just kind of press into the hands. You can keep your feet on the floor and just feel what it feels like to hold the pose. Okay, and then as you're ready, the feet will come off the floor. Okay, and then level two, the elbow comes a little, the left elbow comes a little bit further in towards the center, and then all of the weight is on the left elbow. All right, when you're ready, come back to the center to a low squat. Take a seat and lift up your shins, forearms parallel to the shins. Five breaths, breathe in, breathe out one, half boat pose. Breathe in, breathe out two. Breathe in, breathe out three. Breathe in. Breathe out four. Breathe in. Breathe out five. Feet come down. Okay, let your feet be hip distance apart. Bring them in a little bit closer. Hands go behind you, fingers pointed forward. If this is uncomfortable on the wrist, you can point the fingers out to the sides. We'll come into tabletop. Inhale, lift your hips up. Pull the shoulders back, look up, or drop your head back behind you. Three breaths, breathe in, breathe out one. Breathe in, breathe out two. Breathe in, breathe out three. Good, lower the hips down. All right, coming back into half boat pose. You can rest your fingertips on the floor, or if you want to, you wanna support the low back, you can rest back on the elbows and kind of let your butt rest in your palms. And then just extend your legs forward a little bit more. Breathe in. Breathe out one. Breathe in. Breathe out two. Breathe in. Breathe out three. Breathe in. Breathe out four. Breathe in. Breathe out five. Feet come down. All right, hands behind you. Again, we'll lift up in the tabletop. If you'd like more of a challenge, you can straighten the legs. Okay, three breaths. Inhale, lift the hips up. Roll the shoulders back, look up. Try to get the bottoms of your feet on the floor. Breathe in. Breathe out one. Breathe in. Breathe out two. Breathe in. Breathe out three. Okay, lower the hips down. We'll cross at the ankles, shift the weight forward, step back into plank, and lower down to the belly. Okay, bring the hands down next to the thighs. We're coming into locust pose. Feet together, knees together. Hands stay on the mat for this one. Inhale, lift the chest and the head and the feet. Breathe out one. Breathe in, breathe out two. Breathe in, breathe out three. Breathe in, 
Breathe out four. Breathe in. Breathe out five, lower down. Okay, we'll push back into child's pose. And so the knees come apart, toes together. Grab a block if you want to. Take a seat back on your heels. You can rest your forehead down on the block or the floor, whichever is more comfortable. Arms can reach up overhead or they can come down next to you. Breathe in. Breathe out one. Breathe in. Breathe out two. Breathe in. Breathe out three. All right, inhale, come up. All right, now for a little bit of fun. Grab your strap. I have no idea what strap I grabbed. All right. Hopefully this is a good one that doesn't fall apart on me. All right, we'll make a loop with the strap and make it large enough that it'll you can fit your arms through at the same time. I'll show you here in a minute if I can ever figure out the strap. These straps are something with the buckles, I tell you. I swear, every time I use a strap in class, I spend like half of the demonstration fixing everyone's straps. All right. <clears throat> so you're not alone. <laughs> All right. So here you go. You want, this, you want your elbows to be shoulder width apart so that when you bend your elbows, you can't pull them back. But you want to be able to pull. I don't want your shoulders crammed forward. I want space so you can pull your shoulders back still. Okie dokie. Grab a block and hold it between your hands like this. Get that strap out of the way. All right, so elbows are down on the floor. And we're gonna lift the hips up. If your forehead rests on the strap, that's okay. Okay, so we're gonna stay here for a few breaths. Okay, this is level one. Stay here. Level two. You're going to bring one foot half a little bit forward and practice kicking up with the other leg. All right, so you'll do maybe three on each side. Okay, switch sides on the other. Okay, and then everyone will come down and rest back in child's pose. Don't let your strap go too far. A few breaths here. Breathe in. Breathe out one. Breathe in. Breathe out two. Does it sound like I'm talking really close to you? I bet it does. Breathe in. Breathe out three. All right, so we're gonna come back up. Level one, you can do exactly what you just did or if it feels available, then you can do what level two just did. And level two, if you want to, you can find a wall and work on level three. All right, so pick one. If you know you're level three and you're ready to go for it, go for it. If you don't need to use a strap, don't use a strap, which we're gonna do forearm stand. Okay, so you're gonna look down between your thumbs. I put the block here so because when people have tight shoulders, the hands tend to slide inward. All right, but if you don't like it, you can get rid of it. All right, when you're ready, go ahead and lift up. You can either use a wall or be in the middle of the room, or you can work on one of the first two 
things that we just did. A few breaths here. Breathe in. Breathe out one. Breathe in. Breathe out two. Breathe in. Breathe out three. And carefully come down, cat-like, nice and quiet. Come back into child's pose. You can get rid of the strap if you have one. Okay, use a block if you like. Breathe in. Breathe out one. Breathe in. Breathe out two. Breathe in. Breathe out three. Good, inhale, come up. And we'll press back to, you guessed it, downward facing dog. Step the right foot to the front. Okay, bring the left heel down. We'll lift the torso and arms up. And we'll move into warrior two for just a few breaths. Okay, let's take the hands behind your back. We'll grab onto opposite elbows. And look over the right shoulder. Right knees pointed forward. It's right over the right heel. I apologize if you hear any sirens. My studio's right on Main Street. Couple breaths, breathe in. Breathe out one. Breathe in. Breathe out two. Breathe in. Breathe out three. Moving into triangle pose, straighten the right leg. You can undo your arms, grab a block if you like. Okay, reach the arms out, right arm forward, left arm back. Okay, make sure that your feet are in line with your hips, not on the center line. On an exhale, we're gonna hinge the right hip back. Slide the right hand down to your shin, or the block, or the floor. Left hand can stay on the left hip as you look up towards the ceiling. And if you like, the left hand can reach up to the ceiling. Breathe in. Breathe out one. Breathe in. Breathe out two. Breathe in. Breathe out three. Look down. Inhale, come up. Move the block. And we'll point the toes out. Facing, hips facing the left side of your mat. Wide-legged stance. Bend both knees. Lower down. Coming into a wide-legged squat or goddess pose. I like to call it a sumo squat. Okay, arms can either reach forward and front out to the side, or arms reach overhead, that engages the abs. Here we go, breathe in, breathe out one, breathe in, breathe out two, breathe in, breathe out three, breathe in, Breathe out four, a little bit lower if you can. Breathe in, breathe out five. Good, inhale, come up, hands to the hips, toes in, heels out. Inhale, roll the shoulders back, lift up. You guessed it, forward fold. Hinge at the hips, come into a wide-legged forward fold. You can use blocks here if you'd like. Toes in, heels out. Hands underneath the shoulders, keep the low back flat. If this is you, that's totally fine. OK, 
Okay, use blocks if you need them. If not, you can continue to walk your hands back, keep the low back flat. Breathe in, breathe out one, breathe in, breathe out two, breathe in, breathe out three, breathe in, breathe out four, Breathe in, breathe out five. Inhale, come up, hands to the hips, engage the thighs and the legs, and then inhale, come all the way up. And we'll turn the left toes to the back edge of your mat and push the right heel back. Coming into warrior two, bend your left knee, and we'll bring the hands behind your back. This time, turn the head and look over the left knee. Breathe in, I mean left shoulder. Breathe out one. Breathe in. Breathe out two. Breathe in. Breathe out three. Inhale, straighten the left leg. Moving into triangle on the left side, grab your block if you want it. Hinge at the left hip as you exhale. Right, folding out to the side or bringing the left shoulder down towards the center line. Use a block if you like. Hand can be on the shin or the floor. Right hand comes to the right hip. It can stay here or it can reach up to the ceiling. Breathe in. Breathe out one. Breathe in. Breathe out two. Breathe in. Breathe out three. Breathe in. Breathe out four. Breathe in. Breathe out five. Look down at the floor next to your left foot. Inhale, come all the way up. All right, move your blocks if you need to. And let's take a seat. So we're facing back to the front edge of our mat. And just step your left foot forward, coming into a seated position. I feel like going upside down. So grab your blanket. If you don't have a blanket, use a beach towel. We're gonna do an invert, we're gonna do shoulder stand. So if you, reasons not to do a shoulder stand. One, you're female and on your moon cycle. Two, if you've had recent eye surgery or eye problems or three if you've got uncontrolled high blood pressure. There are a few others, but those are the main ones. Okay. So I recommend that any adult practicing yoga over the age of 20, so basically anybody, use a lift underneath the shoulders. Okay, hands down next to the hips. And when you're ready, lift your hips up bend your elbows and place your hands on the low back or the back of the pelvis. Ooh, my neck is stiff. All right, it's all good. So we'll stay here for eight breaths. Breathe in. Breathe out one. Breathe in. Breathe out two. Breathe in. Breathe out three. Breathe in. Breathe out four. Breathe in. 
Breathe out five. Breathe in. Breathe out six. Breathe in. Breathe out seven. Breathe in. Breathe out eight. Okay, we'll touch the right toes down behind your head. And lift them back up. And left toes down behind your head. And then both toes down behind your head. If your toes don't touch the floor, keep your hands on the low back. Okay, just a breath or two here. And then when you're ready, release your hands to the floor and slowly roll your way out. Okay, resting your feet on the floor. Keep your head right where it is. Rest your hands on the low belly. Take a few breaths here. Come on up to sit and undo your lift. All right, we'll come into fish pose. So bring the hands underneath your, your butt, palms down. Shimmy the elbows together back behind you. Press into the elbows. Lift the chest up towards the ceiling and let the crown of the head just rest gently on the mat. Breathe in. Breathe out one. Breathe in. Breathe out two. Breathe in. Breathe out three. Breathe in. Breathe out four. Breathe in. Breathe out five. Inhale, lift your head up. Look over your toes. And then exhale, lower down to your back. Let's roll over to the left side. And reach your left arm up overhead, palms down. Right hand is in front of you. Okay, flex your left foot for stability. Bend your right knee. Grab onto your right big toe in yogic toe lock. You can rest your head here. And just straighten your leg as far as it'll go up towards the ceiling. Okay, here we go. Breathe in. Breathe out one. Breathe in. Breathe out two. Breathe in. Breathe out three. Breathe in. Be careful not to roll over. Breathe out four. Breathe in. Breathe out five. Perfect. Roll over to the other side. Okay, right arm is down, palms down. Hips are slightly bent just a little bit so you don't tip over. Flex your right foot. Bend your left knee and grab onto your left big toe in yogic toe lock. And straighten your left leg up towards the ceiling as far as it'll go. Okay, breathe in. Breathe out one. Breathe in. Breathe out two. Breathe in. Breathe out three. Breathe in. 
Breathe out four. Breathe in. Breathe out five. Okay, release your left leg and roll over to your back. Okay, hug your knees in towards your chest. We're almost done here. Let's open up your arms wide in a T-shaped position. We'll take an easy twist. Just lift your hips up, move them over to the left a little. Keep the knees up nice and high. And then as you exhale, let your knees come over to the right side. If you feel like that's too much, you can put a block underneath your knees or between your knees. You can look up at the ceiling or turn your head and look over your left hand. Breathe in. Breathe out one. On level two, you can straighten your left leg and catch your foot with your right hand. Breathe out two. Breathe in. Breathe out three. Breathe in. Breathe out four. Breathe in. Breathe out five. Good, release your foot. If you've got it, come back to center. Feet down on the floor. Move them back to the center and then move them over to the right. Inhale, knees up to the chest, nice and high. Exhale, knees over towards the left elbow. Again, you can place a block under the knees if it feels like it's too deep. Stay here if you like. Look up at the ceiling or over the right hand. Level two, straighten the right leg and catch the outside of your right foot with your left hand. Breathe in. Breathe out one. Breathe in. Breathe out two. Breathe in. Breathe out three. Breathe in. Breathe out four. Breathe in. Breathe out five. Release the foot if you've got it. Inhale, come back to center. Okay, hug your knees in towards your chest and then rock yourself up to a seated position. Okay, straighten your legs out in front of you. Okay, when you're ready, inhale, lengthen. And then as you exhale, fold forward. You can walk your hands forward and you can rock from side to side on the sitting bones so that you can make space in the glutes and allow the sitting bones to actually touch the mat. Okay, let's take a block between the feet and a block at the bottom of the feet. Okay, grab a strap if you have all the stuff. If not, just hold the bottom of your feet. Okay, inhale, lengthen and then exhale, forward fold. Breathe in, breathe out one. Breathe in, breathe out two. Breathe in, breathe out three. Breathe in, breathe out four. Breathe in, breathe out five. Good, inhale, come up. And then find your way back into final relaxation.
Okay, allow your feet to flop out to the sides. Tuck the shoulder blades under. Palms facing up. Keep your awareness on your breath. Try to keep your awareness inside of the body. And bring your awareness to the center of your chest. Begin to deepen your breath. Move your hands and your feet. Give yourself a long stretch. Bend your knees, put your feet on the floor, roll over to one side, and come on up to sit. All right, find a comfortable seated position. We'll just take a couple breaths with your eyes closed. You can sit on a blanket or a block if that's more comfortable. Inhaling through the nose and exhaling through the nose. Just notice how your body feels.
All right, bring your hands together in prayer at heart center. Thank you so much for practicing yoga with me today. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. And thank you for staying to the end. Please like and subscribe, and I will see you on the next one.